All right, real quick here, 2011 Nissan Armada, uh, Platinum, LE, all-wheel drive, whatever, you know, the, the big one. Um, she just got new Excel G KYB gas shocks. New springs are off the SV Armada, so the not the air ride ones. They are about an inch taller, and they, they're more coils on it, and they look way beefier than the uh, original ones. Uh, new rubber mounts. Top and bottom, the old rubber mounts were pretty shot. So all you gotta do, uh, mine was a little bit tricky because the uh, lower shock bolt rusted into the bushing. So cut it out with a grinder. Top one backed right out, back that out, back that out. Um, take this bolt out here on the, uh, where the spring sets. I got a jack stand underneath the, um, the swing arm, or the control arm there. I took that jack stand out now because I'm lowering the truck, but a jack stand under the frame there. And then just lower down the uh, the shock or the spring here, the holder, lower it down slowly off this uh, floor jack. The old one pulled right out. The new one went right in with the help of a uh, you know a little uh, pry bar here. I mean, real little bit of help. It went right in. Uh, picked it back up, put it all, bolted it all back together. So these are the SV springs. Um, uh, I don't know what I did with the. Here we go. It's, uh, this is the Nissan part number. Um, and they, this is uh, January 2023, and these were only like uh, 70 bucks per spring ordered from Nissan, and they came in like 12 hours to the store, so it was super fast. Um, the KYB shocks were from Rock Auto, and they were like 60 bucks a piece, so still not horrible prices. Uh, I should have returned normal air or normal ride height. We don't tow. We don't know anything else crazy with it. And then uh, about four dollars worth of anti seize here. Yeah, it's a bit sloppy, but the wheel was rusted completely onto the hub. And after a lot of beating, I was able to get it off. Uh, this was about six months of driving in Michigan to cause that much rust to actually stick the wheel to the hub, and it was only stuck on the face. Nothing goes around it. So it's a, what these. One, two, three, four, five, six little spots here was enough contact to free, uh, completely freeze the um, wheel to the hub, so, or the brake uh, rotor. So uh, trying to be quick here to keep the video short. Take the bolt out, take the bolt out. You may have to cut it. Um, take this bolt out here, drop it, put the spring in, put it all back together, done. Thanks.